Hi, this is Louis from Spitfire Audio. Today I'll be showing you a library made in collaboration with Yair Elazar Glotman titled Speculative Memories. Yair is a remarkable musician and sound artist who combines his classical training as a double bassist and his studies in electroacoustic composition to create textual and spatial works. As well as being a celebrated recording artist, Yair is also a composer in his own right, having worked on a number of film and television scores, collaborating with the likes of Jeff Barrow, Hilde Gunnar-Dottir and Johan Johansson, and now us here at Spitfire Audio to create this stunning library. Speculative Memories is inspired by the rich sound design and experimental double bass playing in Yair's most recent homonymous album. This library contains a selection of unique bass articulations, vocal and guitar performances, modular synth sounds from the Buchla 200E and custom textual tape loops, all designed for contemporary cinematic scores ambient music, and anyone looking to create deeply atmospheric textures. A unique feature to this library is that each sound has also been reamped in multiple ways, similar to how the record was created. Included is both a tape effect signal and spatial signal recorded at the Monom Sound Space in Berlin, with each sample re-recorded through omnidirectional speakers in order to create space and depth to transform how the sound behaves. This library is divided into five sections, with the first being vocals performed by Sara Fors, who also performed vocals for the album. Let's listen to Formant Shift. It's really lovely how that sound moves and evolves over time. Let's check out Granular Clouds. Lovely granular layers with that one. Now I mentioned that there's a couple of signals with this library. The first being the tape effect signal, which is controlled using the mod wheel, moving from the dry signal at the bottom all the way to the tape effect signal at the top. Get a bit more of a lo-fi vibe with that which is really nice to control. I'll turn that down and show you the other signal which is controlled via the dial on the reamp parameter. So as I turn this up you'll hear more of the spatial signal recorded at Monom. so cool how that signal just completely opens up the sound it sounds really lush to me these sounds are so therapeutic it's worth getting just to play at your leisure i could happily sit here hold some chords down and just relax so then of course with each patch you can really delve deep and customize choosing how much of that tape effect signal you want and then how much of that is fed through the reamped signal but there's lots more to show off so here's the morse clouds patch <laughs> bit more of a rhythmic vocal patch. It's nice hearing how the rhythms of each note relate with one another. slight fluctuation in pitch could be good for some horror inspired projects, creates a nice bit of tension. 
we can make this a little bit more experimental by adjusting the random start parameter. So the higher this parameter is turned up, the larger the range of sample there is to be randomly selected as the start point. So when it's turned all the way down, whatever you play starts at the beginning of the sample, but once turned up, you should get a nice bit of variation. This is polyphonic as well, so whatever note you're playing will have its own individual randomly selected start point in the sample from the other notes that you're playing. It's really useful for delving deeper into long samples or adding variation to repeated notes. Let's move on to the guitar section, which is performed by Matt Erlandsen, who also performed on the record. Here's Bow Drones. This is the Octave Swarms patch. Those swarms sound so good. You could maybe accentuate these further uh, by using the expression on the left fader just there. That could work really nicely as an underscore. The next section is the modular synthesizer, a load of processed sounds created from the Buchler 200E. Some nice distortion and swells in there. Tell you what, I'll actually increase the tape effect signal and maybe turn up the random start. Also turn up the attack quite a bit as well. Might be able to get a nice pad out of this. We're going to save that preset, and you can do this by clicking the little floppy disk icon to the right of the drop down menu, and then giving it a name, Moody Pad, and save. Yeah, if you didn't already know with these libraries, you can save presets you've created, and they'll be stored at the bottom of the menu in the user section there. If you click on the preset you've made, you'll see an ellipses pop up next to the load button, and there you can either rename or delete your preset. Let's have one more from the modular synth section.
On to our next section, textures. There's quite a few presets here, and these were created by feeding sounds through tape machines. Have a listen. a lot of this could be useful in perhaps a sci-fi setting, uh, especially making use of those spatial signals. What I really enjoy is the variety of movements between patches. You can have something that's a bit more lively, or on the contrast, something that's quite still. Both equally practical. Piano granular drops is gorgeous. It almost sounds like rain. more of a vocal sounding texture now. Now another piano focus texture. I'm sure you can hear the variation doesn't just come in how you affect the parameters. The patches and presets themselves are already very varied out of the box. Pretty generous group of sounds and instruments you can pull from here. Okay, one more from the textures group. This one's called Dirty Organ. Those little flutters make for a really full texture. And finally, we have the double bass section, Yaya's signature instrument. And there's plenty of experimental double bass techniques here, from distorted swells to harmonic stabs. Let's have a listen. There's something really primal about the way that bass growls. It's a really raw texture. Let's have a listen to the harmonics organ.
Now for something more rhythmic and certainly more chaotic with Spaccato Mayhem. That one's quite a fun one to add a bit of the inbuilt delay as this extra layer. Harmonic stabs is such a cool preset because we have the bow dropping and ricocheting on the string. You can maybe use this to create some moments of suspense or add a subtle punch to your track. Overall, you've got a fantastic collection of instruments and sounds in this library. And with the application of different signals, plus the unique ability to incorporate random start points, as well as other parameters that create variation, there's a near on infinite outcome for these sounds. It's marvelous. And straight out of the box as well, these presets sound great. There's so much value in this library for those that want a unique take on ambient and textural music making, as well as contemporary scoring. You can very well write music just using everything this library has to offer, but also take on some of Yaya's experimental spirit, perhaps pairing this up with other libraries and sounds when scoring to help craft an incredibly distinct sound for your tracks. I hope this has given you a good idea of ways you can use the library and what you can find within it. This has been Speculative Memories by Yaya Elazar Glotman, and the record, also titled Speculative Memories, is out now on Essay Recordings. Give it a listen. Thanks ever so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.